Hey guys, so we're going to do a little different video tonight. Now, you know, color me silly, I don't know, but um, I did not know that there are readers out there who will buy decks and unbox them on video and show you the cards and talk about them and things like that. I am very new to this. I didn't even know this was happening. I didn't know this was a thing. And so anyway, I, I saw somebody mention it in one of the tarot groups about an unboxing video. So then I looked at they were talking about it. And I'm like, well, how cool is that? I could have been doing this all along. I have about 100 and some odd decks here. And I get them every month. Um, I'm a huge collector of tarot and oracle. Now, I'm not an elitist. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to only talk about tarot. Okay, because Oracle decks are a great supplement to a tarot reading. Um, pretty much in any reads I do, I primarily make YouTube videos to read nowadays. Um, I do video chat with people as well, but I notice that people like videos better because they can go back to the read anytime and watch it again. And I have some people watch video, they'll watch it quite a few times um, or maybe go back to it months later. Oh, she said that, I remember now. And so that's one of the reasons I like to make videos um, for my clients. It's just a cool way. But um, I did happen to go to the spirit shop today and this is, um, oh, you can't see it. Oh, it doesn't have the name on it. Um, but this is the spirit shop. It's called Lotus of the Moon. It's out here. And I bought three Oracle decks. Okay, so I thought, you know what, unboxing, now that I'm new to this, I'm going to unbox them on this video, and I'm just going to unbox all three, and just kind of show you guys what we got. So, let's take them out of the bag, what we're going to do. Now, I picked this one, this is James Von Pra. I have a couple of his decks, I've got the, um, I've got his, uh, Oh God, what is it called? It's blanking. I mean, messages from the other side or something like that. It's a medium deck and I found it has been a good deck. And then I've also got the soul's journey from him. But I did get his deck, the power of love and everything, activation cards. And then I also did get his deck messages from the guides. I thought that was kind of neat. And then I got this one by Mike Dooley Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection. So we're supposed to have hopefully some good lover stuff is hopefully what I'm looking at. So I'm going to open them on here and I'm going to kind of review, show you the cards and um, check them out. Now let's save the James Von Pra ones and you're going to see how fun I have trying to open these things because I have a hard time opening them half the time. But we're going to first start with the notes from the universe one. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it and you can, you can watch me. I guess, I guess you got people like to watch you open them and, and things like that. I wish I had like a way of doing the camera to go like that on the thing. One day I'll figure out how to do that. So you always want to have a pair of scissors. Okay. And it's always tricky doing this. Like you don't want to scratch up your box, but they always got to make it so hard to open. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, God. See, this is why I was like, do I really want to do an unboxing video? I'm terrible at this stuff. Let me see if I can get... Getting off the cellophane is always the hard part. Okay. But it is kind of fun. I, I do enjoy opening them. I just hate getting past this part and getting the box open. Some boxes are easier to open and some are really hard. But yeah, any, any tarot reader knows that this is... This is the hard part sometimes, is try, there we go. Yay, halfway there, right? Okay, so this is notes from the universe on love and connection. So we get the plastic off. Now, I don't know about you guys, but what I normally do is, let's see how easy it opens. This is the hard part too, is sometimes these boxes don't want to come undone. But as they can be just a bear to open, what I normally do is I like to store them this way. I stack them and I always put the box on the inside like this. Um, that way I don't have to open it again. And then I just stack my decks. Like you can see, um, I have a few here like that. I will just stack them on the shelf like that. They're open, they're ready to go, just like that, okay? So I don't know, unless you want, if you're putting them obviously on the shelf like this though, you're gonna wanna close your, 
your uh, cards. But I just like to do them like that. So then we always got to take, here they are. Oh, you guys, oh, it's so bright, my light. Let me see if I can adjust you better. Okay. So we've got some writing on there and a message. And then we always got to take this part off. And basically it says, Dear fellow adventurers, what we started in 1998 as an email sent out weekly to 38 addresses has since blossomed into today's daily notes from the universe sent to over 750,000 subscribers into probably every country and territory on earth. That's, that's amazing. These notes are brief passages written by the universe. So these are messages from the universe. That's really cute. Designed to remind you that you have indeed been given dominion over all things. Let these cards be your daily companion. Choose one at random, either each morning or whenever you're in the need of insight, direction, or solace. Frame them, carry them with you, or share them with friends and family. You could not be more loved, more powerful, or more deserving of all your heart's desires. You are simply adored. And then the signature. Okay, so here we go with the deck. This is very interesting. So these are all messages from the universe. And so here is one. When a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it. I love you so much, the universe. And let me fix that so you guys can see that. I have to, sorry guys, I have such a bright light so I don't be dimmed out on here. So maybe I should just turn it up like that. Okay, so there you can see it a little bit better. So, and let's look at some other ones. When fear speaks, it's always wrong, unless being chased by wild beasts. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. Game on, the universe. Okay, so this is a nice little deck. I, I feel like this is more of, this could be used as readers to be able to kind of supplement tarot reads. I could see that, but I would probably just maybe pull one um, and then continue with maybe other oracle cards with messages, but just give a, a one message the universe would be good this will be something even in the group if i wanted to pull people hey i'll pull you a universe card if you would like one and then i could just send them the photo with the message which is which is really good but these are really cute i i think this is a good message with positive affirmations that people could like draw a card each day and kind of look at here's another one if you ever suddenly found and been loved by someone Amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic. Chances are astronomical you will again. God, is that what I tell all my people? If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you, the universe. Cute as, cute as can be. That's cute as can be. Okay? And that's something, you know, that's a good message for people right there. Um, that's something I try to teach people. Is like a relationship ends. Okay, so on to the next one. Okay, because there's always, people will always find love again. Okay, it's, it's, unless they shut their heart down and they're like done with love, you know. But these are really cute. There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big sillies, the universe. So these have, you know, a little sense of humor and they're really cute. But I love this. This is a good deck. Um, I might even do a post to the group and give everybody a card from it. But um, they could be good messages that people need to hear. Um, and they're, I, I like the art and everything, you know, little heart here, um, different lettering, um, certain things to stand out and everything like that. Um, a little kind of humor in them, very uplifting, very positive. Sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy, works for me, the universe. Okay, so that's very cute. That's very cute. So I like this deck. Um, this is a good, you know, um, like I said, if I was going to do 
you know, readings, you know, I'm always going to do my tarot read. Tarot read comes first and then maybe pull from some oracles. But if I just wanted to give a nice little boost up at maybe the very end of the read, this would be a nice little deck, you know, to pull something. But a good card a day, I feel this is this is a nice little deck. But yeah, I may do a post in the group and just give everybody a universe card. I, I And they're always my good uh, people who will tell me certain things, my good critics, you know, if they if they like a message or not, or if it resonates. Okay, perfect. So that's that looks good. And now we're going to do James Von Pra messages from the guides. So here we go with the cellophane again. God, I hate this so much. Okay. And you always want to, you just want to be careful. Just, you don't want to scratch up your deck. But it's hard not to. It's hard not to because they make it, you know, so hard to get this off and everything. But you always need a pair of scissors, sometimes a knife. Okay, come on, James Von Pra. There we go. We're lifting a little bit there. Now if I could just... I don't want to wreck my box. Okay. Trying to get under there. There we go. Let's get all that plastic off. But yeah, that, that universe tech is really cute. I like that. So messages and firm guides. Hopefully there's some good ones. Now his soul's journey, Jack, just to give a quick review... Um, some of it's kind of depressing, to be honest. I mean, there'll be some good uplifting stuff. There'll be kind of a depressing thing and then an uplift at the end at the bottom of it. But, you know, and I, it, it's it's okay, but I found sometimes that deck was a little depressing. So hopefully these will be more positive. And we got the book on the top, so we get, it comes with the book and everything. And then we've got the little, they always got to have this on there. And I normally just put the book to the bottom. I don't really read the books very much, but I'm not, I don't shun books. Now, I know some elite tarot readers and people are like, uh, don't read the books. The, these are nice books. I'm not saying don't read the book. I'm just saying I don't normally read the books. Um, I just, you know, the Oracle card should have messages. So this is, this is some good stuff. Uh, let's see what we've got here. This is pretty good card stock and everything, a little glossy. So I've got, and you know, the only thing about Oracle decks, many of them you can't shuffle. Look at, you know, they're very hard to shuffle. So a lot of times I don't do that. So I've got the card, abundance is your right. Okay, so there we've got some on abundance. And we've got the card, accept struggles as lessons. And that's one of the things I do try to teach people. Try not to, you know, see the, you know, try to see them as lessons. Because the sooner you see it as a lesson, then you can say the other part of the thing. What can I learn from this experience? And if you learn the lesson, you can move on. Uh, there's some nice ones. Appreciate your talents. Ask for guidance. Okay. I do like this. Be of service. So these are kind of very simple messages. Be yourself. Be authentic. I've, there's there's some good ones here. Calm is not a weakness. Absolute, actually, calm is a strain. If you can remain calm in the storm, choose love over fear. That's a big um, thing. This would be a good one if anybody was doing a medium read and just pulled some oracle. Death is an illusion. Nice messages. Don't relinquish your power. Everyone has value. So see, these are real nice. I like the, um, it's pretty good card stock there. It's not rock hard or anything. So you could shuffle this deck if you want to. I just prefer not to shuffle, you know, these kind of cards and stuff. Uh, but nice messages. Express your feelings. A little more upbeat than a Soul's Journey deck was. Feel joy in all you do. Focus on the positives. Okay, so these seem like good what the guides would say, especially um, follow the golden rule. Now, one of the things is having a good forgiveness card in an oracle deck is very common, but this one is very interesting. It says forgive yourself. So I kind of look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, give without expectation and especially an important one. I'm not going to show them all. Um, have an attitude of gratitude. So this is a nice little deck, guys. Uh, messages of guides, very simple messages. They're they're nice and and very blunt. 
and everything like that. You know, but these this is a nice little deck here. I like this one. So I'm pretty happy with that choice. Very pretty, the back of the cards, really nice images and everything. And then just like I said, this is the way I like to store them. I just like to go that, so it's easy access, and I just keep them stacked up like that. It just, it works better for me to do it that way. So now we're gonna do The Power of Love. The Power of Love by James Von Pratt. So I got two of his decks. But he makes, so far he's made some good Oracle decks. And I'm not trying to put down the Soul's Journey too much or anything. I just, it's, some of the cards are depressing. <laughs> you know, Cellophane's coming off good on this one. This is a 44 card deck. Which is about average for him. You want to have a good amount. Um, how many, oh, how many cards does we have with these? Um, do they say? This one is a 44 card deck as well. And the Universe one is a 60 card deck. So you get 60 in that one. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to open the Power of Love. See how easy it opens. It does. It opens pretty good. It's probably going to come with a book, I'm sure. And it does. So I'm going to put the deck to the bottom. I mean, the, the book to the bottom. Excuse me. So let's see what this. I see hearts. Get, the, get this guy off there. Uh, let's see the difference, you know, if this is a little bit different than the, the guide deck and everything. Cardstock feels pretty good. It's kind of crunchy. Some of the cards are kind of sticking together. That kind of drives me crazy sometimes. It looks like he uses hearts with a message in them. Lots of color. Lots of color. So let's see. Um, what are the cards? And that's what it looks like on the back. Um, action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Okay, we've got that acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life so kind of like some good upbeat stuff now will we have some debbie downers in here like his other deck let's see cause effect you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results okay that's a good message that's a good message Commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Okay, so we've got commitment. Always got to have a compassion card. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So that's, aren't these beautiful though? Very colorful cards, beautiful, good, um, good messages, cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So these are really good to kind of uplift the spirit, but they also have a good message, kind of getting it, getting some things ingrained in you. Creativity. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Okay, that's good. Now this is a good one. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So that's a nice one, detachment. And discernment, that's one of the most important things to a reader. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. That's a, and that's a very important one. Elevation, you are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. So that's a good one too. Empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. So I would say these are pretty good decks. I, I like them. I'm happy with them. Um, they're, they're all really good. Um, I like them. They're good boosts, you know, but I feel like the ones that I chose today and then we're going to slip it, remember, at the bottom. If, if that is what you want to do, that's what I like to do. Um, I feel they're very inspirational, um, good messages. I like I like the James Von Pra message from the guides one is a good one, too. But they're good. They I, I like how there's just like a main word on the last one I did, his power of love. There's a main word and a little message um, beyond that, um, which is really good. And one of the things is art is really important on oracles. I like to have you know, good art on the decks, which is good. You know, very pretty, very colorful because color also, when you see it and so forth, 
raises the vibration and everything like that, which is really good. So I enjoy that. But um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I've never done an unboxing, um, you know, thing. I didn't even know it was a thing, guys. I didn't know it was a thing until I saw somebody talk about it. And I'm like, you mean people will like wait and they'll just open up decks and show them to you and everything? I Oh my God, I'm going to have to start searching these for when I'm looking at a certain deck or something, you know, because um, that that's one of the hard things. Like say you go on Amazon, they'll show you maybe three or four cards and that's all you got to go on if you order on Amazon. And then of course, if you go to the spirit shop like I did today, you can't open it. You can only look on the back and see what a few cards maybe look like. Sometimes it's just a crapshoot if you're going to get a deck or not. Yeah, but the majority of the time I do like my decks, every deck serves its own purpose. And I always kind of tune in, like what I'm doing a reading, depending on what the subject matter is and things like that, I will be drawn. Then I will be like, okay, I'm going to choose that one. I It's a very feely thing when you choose an Oracle deck to supplement your tarot read. I hope you enjoy this.